Hi, my name is Joel Levy. I'm a freelance musician in the New York City area. In addition, I have almost 30 years teaching on the public school and college level. In my years of teaching, I've noticed that many, many students have developed the same, same bad habits. And we know that practice does not make perfect, but practice does make permanent. So what I want to show you today is some things that I think you can change very quickly that could really help you improve your playing quite fast. First thing I want to talk about is hand position. If I take my hand away from the clarinet and hold it naturally in my right hand, it should look almost like I'm holding a cup or a glass or I have a tennis ball in there. The shape is like this. If I squeeze these two fingers together, it almost makes an O, and the fingers again are, are curved. When I bring up the clarinet, it should look like this in the right hand. As you see a nice space in here. What I see with many, many students is that their thumbs, their thumbs are not in the right position. The thumb on the right hand comes in too far. And what that does is it puts this first finger under the E flat key, which makes it quite difficult to play from a low G to an E flat. You almost have to be pulling that finger out all the time. I think what also happens with young players, very beginners, it, because the clarinet is heavy, they feel like they need to rest the clarinet on that first finger. If you take your hand away from the clarinet and you see a mark right here, that's kind of a sign that you're not holding that clarinet upright. The movement of the fingers comes from the knuckle here. A lot of young players, again, if they have that thumb in the wrong place and curved up, they end up trying to move from this first joint, which becomes very, very difficult. It's much faster to play like this. The next thing that I see sometimes is young players, actually any player, they'll come down instead of with the fleshy part of the finger, I call these the pads of my fingers. I've heard some people call those the light bulbs of the finger right there. They'll come down with the front of the finger on the keys, which would look like this. That makes it quite difficult to cover the holes and it's easy to leak and squeak. So I come down with the pads of the fingers. It would look like this. So when reviewing that, the thumb is critical to getting your thumb in the right place. Again, I put in the right hand just behind the nail, thumb parallel to the floor, fingers slightly curved, should have a space in here, and moving from the knuckle. And that allows you to really move these fingers quite quickly. On the left hand, left hand, again, the thumb, it's critical we have the thumb in the right, the right angle. My thumb, I keep at a four, almost like a 45 degree angle. And I just can hit the register key with the top of my thumb. What I see wrong with a lot of players is they take the thumb and they come down like this. The thumb is too low. And then what's that doing is it's kind of forcing you to move again from that first joint. Can't play, you can't play fast. So my thumb is at a 45 degree angle, which again opens my hands up and we can see the space in here, which allows me to move the fingers quickly on my left hand. And again, I come down with the pads of my fingers. The most important thing I think you need to do is look in the mirror. You can't fix this unless you check in the mirror. Look in the mirror, check your hand position. Good luck to you and hope this helped.